Hey guys, Respiration36 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make nice looking server icons here for your Minecraft server. Um, it's very simple to do, and again, they're going to look a lot better from further away. Um, getting in closer, really pixelated, and don't look very good, but they do tend to look good from a further distance. So I'm going to be showing you how to do nice little texture effects and adding pretty cool custom text. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that you're going to want to do is make a new image that is 64 pixels by 64 pixels. I do this by holding control and pressing N if you don't already know. So that will give you this right here. And then really just figure out what you want. Um, and this look, I kind of want to be sticking with this sort of black circle with the letters and stuff. So I'm going to be using that. Um, I usually go with a set color for my letters I usually try to stay away from gradients because those tend to look bad once we zoom out and here's a really nice font this is called Dimbo got it from the font.com I will try to leave a link in the description for it it's a pretty nice font so now we're gonna try to make it not as big maybe a little bit bigger than that there and um, then I'm just gonna press escape and then I'm going to object align it to the center of everything. And I'll leave a um, link to download all of these plugins and also the video where I show you how to install the plugins um, in the description so that you can have all of those. Next thing that I'm going to do, go ahead and render down a layer below and go to render and scroll all the way down to polygon slash stars. And here we get this sort of thing, and we're going to up the vertices and make it black, and then down the size just a bit, like that, that's pretty good. And then up the line width to about 4, 5, that's good. And um, maybe down the size just a little bit more than that. Alright, that's good. So, after I do that, I want to go back up to the letters, and go ahead and go to Objects then outline and get it nice and black maybe a lower strength or a lower, a lower radius nah. um, that should be good actually that's pretty good it's kinda too thick though on that right side hmm let's down that one up one down one, up one. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping it as that. Again, you can do your own custom logo, anything you really want. Um, I could use like a picture of a monkey if I wanted to. It really just depends on what you want. And then, of course, the colors are completely customized. But really, we're going to be getting into this texture effect um, here. I usually always go with just a plain back black background and if we unhide this we the circle's still there because we made another layer and then I usually go a layer above that and I render in a collidogen. Now I really like these collidogens because they're really good and then I down all of the area widths to overlay amount but then I up the overlay amount to around 40 ish and make it gray colors and then I can just really mess with that once I get a nice looking shape here by messing with the height and the width let's see here let's find a nice little shape maybe even upping or lowering the radius amount Ooh, I kinda like that except that black in the background is, isn't very good I always up the transparency as well that's uh, seems to be pretty good. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go with that, except I might change the bottom color because it's messing with my circle here. Let's go ahead and make it gray. See what that looks like. That could be good, except I really do need a border. So usually I always go with a collidogen and a border. Uh, borders are up here. Border. And then I try to make my border black but for some reason it is not that's because I'm on the wrong layer so I make my color black and I render in a nice looking border not that thick <laughs> um, 
Why is it so thick on the top? That's weird. Do you see that? It's like really thick on the top. Let's try it on a completely different layer. Let's see here. That's super weird. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try a different sort of thing. Borders and shapes. Here we go. That's much better. Now we can up the width or lower it. Let's see. I think that should be good, actually. That's really good. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now, again, before I leave, go ahead and change these top two layers if you want. But this is basically what you're trying to learn how to do here, trying to make sort of a background. Um, I usually go with circles and um, letters for my uh, beginning or inside part because those tend to look the best um, if you haven't already seen my YouTube logo. But, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, I enjoyed making this video. Uh, if you can use this to make your own server icon, please leave a link to where I could see it. I'd really enjoy looking at some cool little icons or something. I think that'd be pretty fun. Maybe we could make, like, a form or something. I don't really know. But, thanks guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.